Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, got another subscriber requested video. This tutorial is how to make a settings uh, GUI to turn down the volume of certain guns slash music slash etc. By this is just a was requested by my luck redo. I will be showing you guys uh, how to make music, like how to change music instead of guns. Nah, since like obviously I don't skip guns, so you guys look for another video for that. But I can show you guys how to change like the volume of music though. See, like a straight into it. So let's head on over to sound surface and we'll insert a sound. I obviously am like I'm not actually gonna have like an actual sound since uh what's it called? Since uh I don't wanna get copyright copyrighted and stuff, but yeah. So we can head on over to starter GUI to make a settings GUI. Let's insert screen GUI and let's name it our settings GUI. And we can go ahead and hmm, I don't want to do this. We could really have a um let's have a frame right let's have a frame and we'll have it be like in the middle of our screen right we'll have it be in the middle of our screen we'll call this settings frame right then we can just make it like like a dark faded gray type shit um we can insert a text label at the top i'm si i'm simply just doing this because it just looks nice just to make it look nice right Let's say settings, uh, bold it, scale it, of course, change the font to, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, maybe make it like a red, you know, yeah. I love red, I love red men. And uh, make the background, like, but maybe we could, could do something like that, could do something like that. Anyway, yeah, let's do that. So settings, right? Then we'll have this as our settings title text label right and then we will insert a text box right and we also insert another text label actually right we can put the text label right here in the text box we'll put it at the bottom and the text label right here right so uh i guess first we'll do the text label so we'll say volume volume text label right so here we're just saying uh, adjust uh, type. Actually, no. We, sorry, we don't even need text label. We we only need the uh, text box, right? So you could call this wherever. The, where's the name? Oh, volume volume text box, right? So we're gonna have pretty much where the player types in whatever the volume would be. Out of, obviously, out of like uh, um, pretty much you just use decimals. So yeah. So let's go down here and then uh don't put depending the text but the placeholder text, right? That's what you want to use. Uh type uh put your desired volume decimals only. Yeah, decimals only. It's not technically decimals only, it's just like you can't do like forty or fifty, like it'd have to be like one point oh or like one or like 1.3, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, anyway, so yeah, uh, we'll change the text, just so I can, like, so I can actually fucking see it, because what the fuck, I literally can't, I can literally not read the, we'll scale it, okay, there you go, All right, and then, of course, we'll change the background, maybe, let like, me, like, the inverse up there, right, so yeah, put your desired volume, right, okay, so we have our sound here, right, so what we can pretty much do is, first, let's write this, let's, uh, Let's go ahead and type the script for the for the volume for the settings, right? Um, uh, let's do let's put a, let's have a local script here, right? Because this is all being changed locally. So let's say volume change script, right? So we're gonna say this. So local sound is equal to game dot sound service dot sound, right? And we're gonna say um script dot parent focus loss connect function. And then close parentheses, then say local volume, or no, local new volume level. Let's go to scripts.parent.txt, right? And what we will do is, uh, we can say sound.volume is equal to new volume level, right? Now, obviously, this won't, like, because I'm not actually using audio, so you guys won't literally be able to hear hear it work and stuff, but it should work. 
just type in as long as you type in like one or two or three yeah because if I, if I go to the sound and stuff uh, if I go here and just type like two five yeah see just yeah so you just type in stuff like that right so yeah pretty much let me let me actually let me reword that instead of, instead of how I put it numbers only we're just gonna say we're just gonna say numbers only so what you say numbers only not words but anyway um so yeah we're literally done there now what we can do is the way to open and close this we can have it we can have it we can honestly bind it to a key to a key bind right like we can have a we can really keep the script inside of the gui you feel me but put local scripts here and then call this uh settings opener script make sure the frame is set to not visible by default but keep the gui uh enabled though right pretty much what we'll do is we will do local uis to get the uh input service by doing game calling a service user input service press enter twice and then we will do us dot input begin calling connect function and parentheses will put input then we'll do if input dot user input type equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard then if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot we'll say s since settings is uh since i guess setting s for settings i guess then we will say let's get our local player by doing local player is equal to Oh, sorry, it's equal to game the player to local player. We could really do script parent, but I'm just gonna do local player. So we'll do player dot player GUI dot settings GUI dot settings. Oh, sorry. Dot settings frame dot visible is equal to true. And we will have this. We actually turn this to if statement. We will have this if if the frame is visible, and then we can really just copy and paste this, right? If it is visible, we will set the frame to false. Else, if then you can copy it again, just change it. If it's set to false, and then you literally just do the opposite, right? And then we set it to true, and boom, there you go. That simple. Let's go ahead and click play. Like I said, it obviously won't work, or like you won't really get to hear anything. I should say, but yeah. If I click the S key, boom. There it is. All right. Then I'll tap in my volume, and then it would change it. Oh, I see here. Yeah, I can show you guys here. Yep. See, there you guys go. There you guys go. This is volume two. And then if I type, oh sorry, not type. I put three. Boom. Volume three. There you go. So yeah, that's how you make a little volume uh, thing for settings and stuff. Hope this video was helpful to uh what's it called uh my lock reader who requested it and anyone else who's watching it watching the video appreciate y'all for watching leave a like subscribe join my discord and roblox group the links can be found in the description yeah i'll see you guys